Okay, so... I have this blueprint that I can place down. Which is just some walls and turrets. Uh, here's my map. So over here I have this oil outpost. And there are a couple biter nests that I want to take care of. So the point of this is that I can call my military, my uh, artillery train down here, which has a cargo wagon that's full of the supplies necessary to build this base, right? So as soon as I call the artillery train down here, I can just take all of the items out of the fourth wagon, and then my construction robots will start building this little outpost. So all I have to do beforehand is build the tracks to it, you know, connected to my rail network, and then place the blueprint, and then that way, as soon as the artillery train stops and it starts shelling automatically, I'll already have the the thing in place. So here's my world that I've been playing on, and I've had a lot of luck with this strategy. So here is a little defensive area I put up next to my copper mining outpost, and a similar one up here next to my iron mine. And I've been setting them up usually next to water, just because that helps funnel the attacks into like one direction so I don't get surrounded too badly. And I've also been using the artillery as radar, uh, you know, after it's finished clearing some stuff out, just to kind of expand the view of the map a little bit easier than walking around. So here's my base, and you know, I've got my bus and my smelting and all of my production and my rocket silo that kind of stuff. But down here is my artillery train depot. Where are you at, artillery train? Oh, it went to site A for some reason. Go back to the depot, please. Anyway, here at the depot, I have uh, three chests that... Uh, what are these called? Requester chests that request shells that I'm making elsewhere. And then they'll load the three artillery wagons and then this is my supply wagon, uh, which will load it up with uranium, uh, uranium piercing rounds, turrets, walls, gates, radar, and a uh, train station just in case I don't happen to have one. So you can see my artillery train going going by. There's my all of my uranium processing because it takes a lot of leftover uranium to make all of this. Uh, uranium ammo. Anyway, that's pulled into the station, so if it if it were missing anything, it would be loaded now. But um, from this view, I can just send it to my current location. And it will do its thing. I think that's it right there. It'll go through my rail network and I've got a couple levels of um, artillery range so the auto range is pretty pretty large uh, which is why it's important to be able to set this thing up quickly because as soon as it pulls into the station here it's gonna start shelling so I gotta come here and just take everything and then my bots will start placing it and then uh, I think it's pretty unlikely I have this deconstruction planner that just targets turrets it's pretty unlikely that I'm going to get any anything coming from the back so I'm just going to remove those lower turrets and then I'll uh, put shift C because I took all of that uranium ammo out and I've got the even distribution mod installed so hitting shift C will distribute that uranium ammo evenly uh, and yeah, so it's currently shelling, it's bringing democracy <laughs> to all of these all of these biter bases within the area. And then the biters themselves are, you know, attacking. But even what is my evolution? My evolution factor is 0.95, which is which is relatively high. Um, 
So you can see there are some behemoths in there, the green ones. And this seems to do a pretty good job. Um, it's really, really, really expensive in terms of their uranium ammo, um, which is why I was doing the thing where, where I was deleting some of the turrets that I don't think would see much action. That way when I did the even distribution, the ones at the front would, would wind up with some more ammo. Um, but I don't, I don't necess this one right here is just on the edge of what it'll auto target. So I don't want to, I don't want to take out this. Uh, there's a, there's a spitter who's just out of range. So let me, let me go see if I can't convince him to leave. Yeah. Every once in a while, that that's one flaw with this design is that every once in a while a spitter will be like just out of range of the turrets and able to spit and, and just keep damaging the same section of the wall. Which is why I usually, um, it's not fully automated, I usually stay down here and babysit it. Oh man, so two of my turrets have already ran out of ammo for shelling. But the nice thing about the way that I've got this set up is I can just click on the train. I can tell it to go back to the artillery train depot. And then it'll load up as much as it can. So after it's sat for for a few seconds and there hasn't been any more activity, it'll come back down and begin shelling again. So I'll just, uh, should have turned the sound off. And I'll just sit here for a moment. Uh, all my entire train network is powered with nuclear fuel, so even though those artillery wagons are frickin' heavy, it does not take much time for it to get down and back. Looks like there's another group of biters coming in. It's a good idea to stick a radar in the center of this little outpost just so you can see. Yeah, it looks like some of them are starting to come from the east, which is why I don't necessarily want to get rid of this group here. I could probably get rid of this group here since it's very unlikely that any of them are going to get up there. But... Oof. What are you doing? Oh, you know what? It's probably my uranium ammo. Every once in a while the robots are delivering some and it's resetting the inactivity timer. Is that what's going on? Let me go check. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. So it's never... Oh no! There we go. It just took a while to finish loading, so it is on its way back. And just in time, too, because I'm already... One of these turrets is already running out of ammo, so... Maybe I will... Uh, maybe I will get rid of these side turrets here. That'll give me a little bit of extra ammo that I can redistribute at least until the train gets back. Things will quiet down for a little bit, um, since the artillery train isn't isn't here to do any shelling. But once it gets back, where is it anyway? Is that it? No, that's my oil train. Oh no, did I tell it? I think I accidentally clicked on the wrong place. Where's my dang train? This is... Yeah, this is Site C. Go to Site C, please. Shouldn't take too long to get down here. Gotta love some, uh... Nuclear fuel in your trains. I love the trains in this game, they're so fun. Oh, 
Alright. Now are we going to start shelling again? Or did we clear out everything in auto fire range? Looks like we cleared out everything in auto fire range, which is pretty good. So now I'm going to take the artillery remote and do a little bit of... Oh, nope, there's... There are a few things that just took a minute to start auto shelling. And put the remote away then. Oh, it's these bases that are on the very, very edge of the. Very, very edge of it. Well, I still want to get some exploration going, so I'm just gonna. Every one of these artillery shells has a little radar in it, so you can use it to kind of fill in the map. And then once that first round starts going, we can get into the in-betweens. And in case you're wondering, yeah, this is this is pretty darn expensive. <laughs> but I'm in the late game, I don't have a whole lot else to do, so I'm having fun uh, messing around with it like this. That should be that should be pretty good. From that from that little bit we can see that there's some copper and iron down there. 43 million, that's a lot of iron. Some more uranium. Another oil. Is that water? Yeah, some more water. Gives me a, a better better idea of what I want to explore on foot. So I've got a site here, a site here, a site here. I'll probably set up another site here next to this copper mine. And kind of go here and then also set up a site. Set up some more sites to like the northeast and the southeast to get a <coughs> better picture of what the what the area around my around my base looks like. But looks like we're pretty much done here. Um, looking at my pollution in this area, I don't actually have a reason to clear things out much further than here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be happy with the part that was auto-cleared. Um, and when I set up another site around here, that'll, that'll take care of some of the sooner things, but... The artillery chain is a real, uh, game-changer. Because... <laughs> Probably you're building a train line to like an outpost anyway, and then with this little blueprint, you can you can set up a little area for the train to go and just kind of take care of clearing out everything in the area. Um, so like I might go might go back up here again and let it do its thing for a while because my pollution cloud around my iron mine is starting to expand, where I might actually like manually target some of these bases on the periphery. Oh, we had some had some stragglers. It can take a very, very, very long time <laughs> for the biters who, you know, might have gotten shelled here to make it all the way around the map and everything. But yeah, I'm right on the edge of like a desert biome, so I've had trouble expanding to like the southeast just because the pollution spreads so much. Whereas up here to the north and the west I'm on the edge of like a forest, so 
it takes forever to clear out things to the north and the west. But it uh pollution cloud doesn't doesn't spread anywhere near as bad. Uh once you once you're there. So yeah, I think I think that's about it. Now that now that this site is relatively secured, I'll let it play out for a little bit while I'm doing doing something else. And then after I'm certain that all the attacks have stopped, I'll uh, basically deconstruct all the turrets and get all the ammo back from them and put it back on the train and uh, put it back in the depot and it'll be ready to go for the next time I need to um, begin begin discussions with some other biters. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it.